Hello everyone and welcome to the COT Council. How are we all? Hopefully all of you are having a fantastic day wherever you are around the world. And in today's video, it's a very special video because it's a video that I've said has been coming for some time now on the YouTube channel. And that is that we finally have the 2020 21 home jersey and um, obviously Nike's first ever jersey with Liverpool and I am so excited to actually unbox this realistically I know it's not really an unboxing it's an unbagging but you know unboxing does well on YouTube so why not uh, but yeah we finally have the home kit and normally it comes in the LFC retail bag but for some reason you know, I've had the, you know, the bag that it come in and then this, I haven't really looked at this, I've just literally just grabbed it, so, you know, I do apologise for that, but, you know, still, um, honestly, guys, you know, I'm excited to show you guys the 2019, 2019, I keep on saying 2019, this built the fourth time I've, I've tried to edit this, I said 2019, but it is the 2020-21 Nike Liverpool home jersey, and, you know, I'm really excited to show you guys, but if you could, do me the massive favour and please like this video, it's massively appreciated as always. And also as well, if you're new to the COP Council and want more unboxing videos, then please hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to 300 subscribers and hopefully we can get there really, really soon. But um, let me shut up uh, and let me show you the unboxing. There we go. Actually, I don't want to unveil too much because I got something special, but here we go. So obviously we've got the Club World Cup badge. Um, obviously, um, Liverpool being, uh, you know, world champions, of course, obviously, you know, the collar as well with the uh, teal and white, of course, people have been saying on Twitter, it's blue, it's not blue, um, it's teal, it's got the teal colour, and to be fair, this cut, this, well, this kit anyway, is a inspired thing from the, I believe, the 93-95 home jersey as well, of course, you've got legends like Robbie Fowler played in it, I think, um, Steve McMahon played, McMahon's played in there as well, so, you know, let me know if, if he did, but of course, as well, we've got the Premier League winners badges on the side, didn't, you know, I know that, you know, many people don't really buy kits for that, in a sense, but, you know, for me, this season, you know, it was crucial to have, you know, the Premier League winners badges on it, because, you know, realistically, you know, Liverpool being Premier League champions, uh, and that, and to be fair, you know, it needed to happen, to be fair. But, you know, overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I would say, though, and I have said this, I said this on the video we did a couple of days ago. Um, of course, this is the uh, £70 one, and not the £100 one, so you haven't got that, like, embroidery type thing, and it's just a clean cloth, which, to be fair, I don't personally mind, but then also, as well, I'm not a huge fan um, of the difference between the two uh, kits but of course as well you have the white strip as well down the side of the kit of course I'm wearing last season's kit um, to be fair and I think you know that's pretty much uh, you know I, I really like this kit I know many people didn't but I really do like this kit of course you know having the white strip down it but overall I'm happy but if you could you know guess guess in the comment section right now before cheating because I know a few of you do cheat um, which player I have on the back I do try and get a player on the back each and every single year that has been good in my eyes. So on this kit, there's uh, Virgil, because obviously best centre back in the world. Uh, but yeah, if you could guess the player that's on this kit, then you know you get some bonus points realistically, and you know it'd be kind of uh, nice to guess it. But I'm gonna do it in three, two, one, and boom! There we go. Nabi Kater is on the back of the jersey. Nabi lad, Nabi lad. Uh, yeah, we had to get Nabi lad, but of course as well, you know, as you can see, the 96 as well being, um, you know, still a thing uh, on the kit. I am really happy that Nike have kept that, to be fair, because, you know, I think, you know, for the for now until forever, that should stay on the kit, for sure. Um, but realistically, yep, the 96 on there, and then, you know, Nab, uh, Keita, and then eight on the back as well. You know, I was always a fan of having Gerald on the back of my shirt. And to be fair, you know, I, I haven't had Nabby in recent years, but, you know, I thought, you know, why not this year? Go and have Nabby, lad. And, uh, yeah, I really, really do like it. But, yeah, overall, guys, I am happy with it. Uh, to be fair, there will be some cinematic shots uh, towards the end of the video of the kit, and I will promise that they will be in there. So, you know, but overall... I'm happy with it. I think that, you know, it's a very nice looking kit. I think it's probably, if they were one of Liverpool's best, 
But I am a huge disappointing, well, dis I am disappointed in the fact that there's such a difference between this kit and the fact that, you know, you've got as well the, um, you know, the difference between that and the £100 one. I do think that's a bit off and I think Nike, it, for next season at least, you need to make the kit that, so it looks pretty much the same. Because New Balance with this kit, you know, they made... Uh, a standard one which you know you get every single year and this is what this is and you get the authentic one and they looked identical but you know when you felt them they felt completely different so you know Nike for next season you know if you're gonna cost fans over a hundred pound you know for two different kits you know well 70 pound and then 100 pound then I personally would say that you know that they should personally make them look the exact same because I know a few people in the Liverpool store yesterday uh were you know genuinely like comparing the two and they did look massively different but overall I'm happy I'm happy about the kit and yeah I definitely will be wearing this for next season for sure Okay, then let's actually see then how this actually fits. Of course, uh, the night kit, of course, um, you know, let, let's see how it fits. And let's do kind of like a Virgil van Dijk uh, cinematic thing where he does it to close the camera. So here we go. So, you know, as Virgil van Dijk would say, it is a very nice feel to it. Um, yeah, I do really like it. Uh, I like the feel on it. Um, the one thing I would say is it does feel a bit, you know, t not skin tight, but it does feel a bit worse than him. So, you know, obviously, um, you know, if you are, um, you know, a, a big lad, like I'm a big lad, um, you know, I would recommend, you know, obviously going your size and things like this. But yeah, overall, really like the feel to the kit. You know, I really like it. Hopefully the Reds can win, um, you know, and have some success in it uh, for next season. Hopefully lift. Uh, a Premier League trophy in it for next year as well. But yeah, that is going to be it from us, guys. Um, you know, thank you for watching the unboxing video, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed, uh, you know, this video. And yeah, uh, until next time, guys. That is going to be it from me. I've been Connor from the Cop Council, and that was the 2020-21 home jersey unboxing. But until next time, guys, that is it from me. Goodbye.